welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy from Creative Kit Kat. Okay, so I haven't been um, doing or recording any videos for the past week uh, because I had been busy with a lot of things and stressing out on a lot of things as well. So um, I'll give you an update on that. But first, I wanted to show you my workstation. Yep. Yep, you're right. What you can see is actually my ironing board. Yeah. So <laughs> this had been, has been my workstation for the past few months. Initially, I had been working on my kitchen table, my dining table. And then my husband got pissed off because I had been um, uh, using the entire... Um, dining table for my big projects and he got pissed so he he asked me to look for an alternative um place where i could um do my diamond painting initially i've been doing it on my office table but because um i've been recording a lot and doing a lot of editing um i couldn't use the table anymore and, and i had to uh, look for an alternative um space which led me to use our ironing board isn't it ingenious yeah so you can see what i like about the ironing board is that it's very um portable i can actually fold this up fold it flat and then bring it down to our dining i uh, sorry to my living room where i could actually play um tv while uh, while doing our my diamond painting and I could, the good thing about this is I could adjust the height accordingly, depending on the, depending on the height of my chair. So if I'm, I'm working on my, working on the, my diamond painting using my, using my computer chair, I will adjust the height a bit higher, but when I'm, I'm using when I'm sitting down in front of the TV in the living room, I would actually um, work on the where uh, I will adjust the the dining, uh, sorry, the ironing board to be lower, and I will bring it in closer to the to the living room, uh, so to the sofa, so I don't have to um, bend down, and I could actually um, lie back, lie my back, um, rest my back against the against the uh, against the the back of the sofa itself so that's what i liked about this particular setup and not only that it's actually wide enough that i could spread out my 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 things so right there is my it's the box that i use for my drills yeah and then here i could set up my light pad underneath there with uh with uh with my diamond painting right on top and of course since i'm not in my living room i have to have some form of entertainment in my case it's netflix uh in my ipad so um i had that um charging down there and then of course i have my my tray of uh boats which you can see i've actually um labeled them with the numbers on the side so i don't get mixed up I don't get mixed up with um, with my drills and the colors and such and I can this is actually my um, the container for for my drill but I removed it and used it as a as a container for my wax instead and then that is the container for my trash which I also always have out so that whenever um, I have drills that I couldn't use or they have holes in them or tags on them I put them there on the trash container itself yeah so i wanted to show you this before i start doing my diamond painting okay, okay. so what have you been guys up to for the past week yeah so i was a lot i was very busy um the last week because we just got back from the camping so the first few days I had, I had to do a lot of laundry from the camping and plus because the week before I, I, I wasn't able to um, do the laundry before we left so I had to do like five loads of laundry 
um, right after camping and I had to prepare my son since he has to go back to school so the first few days I was a bit um, all over the place and I couldn't do any videos because I have stuff flying all around the house and I just couldn't um, do do I could I just couldn't uh, record any videos at all. Yeah, and then after that, um, I decided to do some grocery. I went. I know that um there had been um there had been problems getting stuff of um, toilet paper. Uh, from grocery stores because people in Australia are panicking and doing bulk buying of toilet rolls of all of all things. I would have thought the first thing that would um, that would run out are um, are not it's not toilet paper but food and medicine. Yeah. So anyway, when I went to the when I went to the grocery store, I got stressed because I only have six rolls left. And normally, uh, I go to uh, Costco to buy in bulk. Like, I buy a pack of 60 toilet paper um, for our family. And that would last us for a few months. But when I went to Costco, like, a few weeks before the camping trip, I was shocked because the, the queues... The, the queue um, to get toilet rolls was ridiculous. It was like they have a separate queue just for toilet paper. And I was shocked. Like uh, I didn't realize that it was that um, it was that um, serious. I mean, the the, the virus that's um, going around was that serious that people are actually panicking over toilet paper. So anyway, what um, what I decided was that maybe I could try doing online order. So that's what I did. I tried ordering um, online at an online grocery store. I ordered two packs and they actually um, gave me a pack. So uh, I really appreciated that. At the same time, I'm not really worried about the toilet paper situation because... I actually use Tabo. For people who don't know what Tabo are, I will show you a photo. Um, I will attach a photo so that um, you know what it is. So Asian countries, especially um, Filipinos, use Tabo to clean their bums. When they um, when they do the number two instead of um, using the toilet tissues, which is actually better than um, actually using toilet paper. I know um, it's very dire that um, people people we 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 still need toilet tissues and stuff. I'm not really worried because there's an alternative for that. And um, in our household, we actually use toilet. Um, sorry, we actually use the tabo more than the toilet paper. Toilet paper. And um, in each of our bathroom, we have one. So I'm not really worried about that. And recently, we have installed the bidet. A few months ago, we've installed the bidet on one of our main, in one of our toilets. So. That also helped cut down the use of toilet papers, yeah. So I'm not really worried about that. However, when um, I went grocery shopping, that's not the only thing that's been running out apparently. So apparently a lot of people have been hoarding canned goods, pasta, flour, what else? Um, rice. Yeah, so those are, uh, oh, and even frozen goods. So a lot of people have been uh, doing panic buying. And it's been scaring me. I don't want to hoard anything, actually. But um, whenever there's sale, I actually buy multiples, multiple items at 
to keep in stock because I want to take advantage of the sale. So, but because of all the hoarding issues, there has been lots of out of stock um, problems in grocery stores. I, I'm actually very fortunate because I live right across uh, Kohl's. Um, our local Kohl's, um, our local Kohl's in, in, my, in my suburb. I'm very fortunate because I'm right across it. So whenever I have, we need to buy something, I just need to cross over and, and go and buy something. So um, because of the hoarding issues, so what I've been doing for the past few days this week was to go, was to drop by the Kohl's. Drop by the grocery store to check if they have stock of stuff. Yeah, so um, right now I'm actually um, so there was at this well this week there was a sale uh, with spam, spam, and one of the chocolate almond milk that my my son really likes. So I wanted to stock up on that and. And um, because a lot of people had been hoarding, I couldn't buy it the last time I went. And my son got upset because um, he thought he didn't have any mo any milk left, and he, he was he was upset because he, when he saw all the empty shelves, he was asking me, "Mom, what's happening? Why are there a lot of empty shelves?" So um, I told him it's because a lot of people were afraid and and they had to buy and they had to stock up on stuff. I mean, I, I'm, my personality is that I will buy, I will buy where I could actually save. So I don't, I don't buy based on brand. I buy based on the value that I get. Um, it depends. So sometimes, if a certain item is on sale, that's what I buy because I'm not really brand conscious. But lately, because the only brands that are left are like. Um, you know, like recently, um, I've been to the grocery and I found a boxes of there was one box of facial tissue left um, on the whole shelves on the whole on the whole shelf on the whole aisle on all the shelves. That's the only box left, but um, the entire box still has a, about a few boxes of facial tissue left. So I decided even if it's Kleenex, because Kleenex is one of the more expensive brands. Sometimes I just use the house brand for facial tissues. But because I don't have any choice and that's the only brand that's left on the whole shelf, I have to get it. So now I'm a bit upset because the budget that I have for for my diamond painting has actually been going to groceries the past week like I'm upset because this virus has disrupted a lot of our lives I know that and I understand that and I'm just really upset because I got stressed over the fact that a lot of items are out of stock and because they're out of stock and um, sometimes when you see them you have to grab them even if you don't really want to store or you don't really want to keep a lot so that's the thing it's because you, you, you don't want to run out and you don't want to be in a direct in a situation where you actually need it later on I had to grab what I could <sighs> so that has been stressing me out Anyway, and then after, uh, during this, um, this past week, I actually received free tickets to Australian Grand Prix, okay? So everybody knew by now that um, Australian Grand Prix was cancelled uh, over the weekend because one of the crew from McLaren, which is an F1 F1 team, F1 driver, um, tested positive with the coronavirus, and they had to pull out because they don't want to. They don't want to, of course, endanger anybody else and um, to spread the virus further. So 
so they had to back out. That's the reason why the organizers decided to cancel the whole event it itself. So I'm not particularly um, upset about that. I understand and I agree that the organizers, uh, organizers should actually cancel the entire event. But I just wanted to tell you guys and share that I was actually there during their first day. So on March 12, on Thursday, was the first day that the um, Grand Prix was open. And a lot of people, well, I was one of them. I went with a couple, with a couple of our friends as well, because I'm not really a fan of um, of the Grand Prix. Um, I don't really know what was happening. And our friend who goes to this event every year, every single year for the past 25 years was the one who actually toured us around good thing he was there otherwise that we wouldn't have been we wouldn't have um, enjoyed it at all because we don't know most of the drivers we don't know most of them <laughs> I was just there because I have a free ticket but the whole time I was there I was actually paranoid so I brought along um, um, I brought along like a bottle of my rubbing alcohol and the whole time I was there well, I was like pouring rubbing alcohol all over my my hands and my arms because I'm scared to catch any of the germs and take it home to my son I'm scared of that so Maybe every 15 to 30 minutes, that's what I did, was I, um, I, I, I doused myself with rubbing alcohol. And then, because on the way there, what we decided to do was to leave our car, because the venue for the, for the Grand Prix was actually at the heart of the city. So what we did was that we left our our car in one of the um, train stations and then decided to just take the train, public transport, take the train and the tram to go to the venue itself. So take note, I haven't been um, commuting for like for a few months already. I haven't gone or sat on the train and even the tram for for a while now and um, while I was there I was I I was like hyperventilating because I was paranoid <laughs> I was paranoid with the virus all around <laughs> I wouldn't touch the poles and when I'm sitting down I was like I was very far from the next passenger <laughs> Oh my god, and then I heard somebody cough, and I was like, crap, somebody was coughing, boy. I was very paranoid. And then my son, because my son was in school, um, I actually asked my friend to pick him up from school instead, so that I don't have to, um, um, I don't have to rush back from the Grand Prix to pick him up, um, pick him up from school so um, I asked my friend for a favor to to um, so I asked my friend for a favor to um, pick up my son um, during the event but before so my son was with them from from the time that school ended all the way until we picked him up so he was playing with um, my friend's son so, so they're the same age and so they were playing at their house but before we picked him up we decided to go back home to change make sure that um, we dis disinfected ourselves wash our hands wash our faces before we go and pick them up because uh, we didn't want to expose 
my son, not just my son, but my friend and her family to whatever germs that we have <laughs> that we were exposed to in the Grand Prix or um, during our commute. Because uh, currently they actually have their in laws. Uh, she has her in laws staying, staying with her, and they're about. They're already uh, um, 70 years old, 70s in their 70s, and um, I think the, um, the the grand, sorry, the the her father-in-law is already on her, on his late 70s. So we didn't want to expose them with any of that. So that's why we decided to wash ourselves first before coming to pick them up, and we didn't go to their house anymore. We just came by. Um, Press the doorbell and rush and just got my son and then that's it. We didn't go inside their house anymore because we were scared that uh, we didn't want to expose them to anything at all. You know, so, yeah, so that's what we did. So I'll be showing you some clips of um, some of the things that um, they had prepared in, on in the Australia in Australian Grand Prix, but unfortunately it was cancelled. Yeah, right. I understand because uh, recently um, countries has been on lockdown. Countries like um, China, not just China, South South Korea, uh, Italy, and even currently um, Philippines. Metro Manila has already ordered um, a lockdown, a, a lockdown as well, to ensure that. Um, the, the disease won't spread any further. I agree with all of that and I'm actually expecting for the Australian school system to issue an order to stop to stop the kids going to school as well. Yeah so that's one of the things that I've been preparing for for the last week. That's why I've been stressing out and couldn't video anything because um, I was busy preparing for, well, I was busy scrounging around for um, essentials for for our um, groceries. And then uh, what we decided was that me and a couple of other stay-at-home moms, we decided to go to Costco and brave the crowd. So what we did was that we went there at 9.30 before the store opens, got our carts, and lined up. So I'll show you how crazy it was. I'll, I'll attach a video and a photo of what the store looks like before it even opened. So the lines were like crazy long. We were fortunate because we were right, not right in front, but close enough, close enough to the front that um, it wasn't that bad. But the queue was like from the entrance all the way until the basement. Basement too, let me tell you. That's how huge the queue was right before it opened. And then when the store finally opened, it's like mayhem and chaos inside the store so um, what we decided was that we divided and conquered so um, two of my friends went to queue for the grocery uh, sorry to the toilet paper since I already ordered online and got one pack I decided I don't need to it's not a rush for me to get toilet paper but uh, one of the things that we wanted to buy as well were eggs and I forgot to mention that on the list of things that were out of stock. So they were available in the local Kohl's or Woolies um, grocery stores. But the big ones, the big trays are out of stock. You can get them, but you'll probably get small eggs. So um, I normally buy my eggs at Costco as well because you, get, you can get two trays for... 
for the I think only seven dollars. That's what where I normally buy my eggs from. But anyway, uh, because of the crazy queues the past few weeks, I couldn't buy any, and we've been running out of stock. I've been buying my eggs from the lo local groceries, and they're more expensive. If you buy them by a tray of twelve, they're more expensive. Yeah, so anyway, that's what we decided to do. We, two of them went to the toilet paper while I go to the eggs, to the freezer where the eggs are, and get eggs for all of us. So in the end, I think I got seven trays of eggs. A tray of 36 pieces? Yeah, a tray of 36 pieces each. So imagine, I, I got seven seven trays for the three of us so anyway um, that's what we did uh, and then we decided to drop to get rice as well so normally I only buy 5 kg of rice um, for my son so he eats brown rice um, and he's the only one who eats rice in our household because um, we're trying to cut down on carbs so, but because um, when you go to your local grocery, you couldn't find the seven, uh, sorry, the five or ten kgs anymore. Even the one or three kgs is always gone from the shelves. So I was like, where? So I decided we, since we're already in Kohl's, we should grab some um, rice as well. And the only stock they had was. 25 kg 25 kg of brown rice for one person that's crazy so that's the one so we grabbed them and I, I really don't have any choice um, any choice anyway because it's the only size they had that time that's the only that's the only um that's the only choice I have. I couldn't really do anything about it. So, yeah, so those are the things that um, are still available in, in Costco. If you, if, um, if you are thinking of going to Costco, I suggest you go with at least another person as well. Because one, while well, one person is going around the store, picking up some supplies the other one is already queuing up so if you need toilet paper better get at least two more because right after the right after we got all the essentials and the things that we wanted to um, get we we just left because I couldn't stand the chaos and you know people were like um it's like you're, you're, it's like a mayhem. It's like because carts were everywhere. It's like everywhere you go, you, you're like squeezing here and there to, to go to the checkout counter. And like, it's really hard to move when there's that much um, carts and people around. So better, what I su suggest is that you get somebody, you get someone to go with you. Go, uh, you go to Costco with somebody else so that um, with somebody else so that while one of you is doing the shopping the other one is actually queuing up and you don't have to wait that long to do your payments right now there's um, they could only give one pack of tissue to each person and um and then you could get another pack of and I think there's no cap yet on how many bags or sacks of rice you can get there's no cap there's a cap on the number of Panadol that you can buy last time they used to have hand sanitizers and there's some um, like there's there's what do you call that there's a limit to the number of um, number of 
sanitizers that you can get as well and they're really very strict in um, enforcing that in Costco so when they see you have multiple items let's say it's already they had already informed everybody that it's going to be limited to each person and let's say you got two two tissues instead of one in, in for one membership they will actually confiscate the extra one that you have in your cart and they will keep them and they will keep them and you can't do anything about it yeah so that's what they have been um, doing and they're strictly enforcing that which I agree yeah so that um, it won't cause any scarcity at least it will give other people a chance to um, to get what they need yeah so don't those are some of my updates for the past week. How have you been? How have you guys been? <laughs> yeah, so my week had been stressful all because of that. Yeah, so I only started doing diamond painting yesterday and today. Because um, I think uh, I bought a lot of groceries I've done a lot of shopping the past week yeah so if you don't see me open any new diamond painting any new diamond paintings for the next few weeks you know it's because my budget for my diamond painting had already gone had, had went to all the grocery shopping even went to the extent of doing inventory you know I had to do inventory of all the toiletries and the pantry items that we had because I don't just store my my I don't just store the grocery food in the kitchen now because all the cupboards are full so um, yeah that's the reason why I've been into bullet journaling as well it's because I could keep track of everything in one place yeah so I've been doing a lot of um, yeah so I did um, inventory for um, the toiletries and the pantry items that we had I don't really do inventory for fresh fresh food um, only those and even even the I, I don't um, I didn't do any inventory for the for the for the cooking for the stuff that I use for cooking I mean like the sauces and stuff I didn't do inventory for that anymore just the pantry items like um, snacks biscuits noodles pasta and stuff like that so my tip for you guys if you want to do your shopping in Kohl's or in Woolies apparently they only restock the shelves at the end of the night when they're closing down the store and then and then that's the only time that they will get um, stocks so, which means that if you're early, if you're early in the store, you'll probably get, you'll probably see stocks of um, the items that you need. But so far, because I haven't been, um, I haven't, um, I don't, I'm not a morning person. I don't wake up that early. So, um, although I've, I've been to the store um, around 7.30, 7, between 7 to 7.30, by the time I reach there, most a lot of um, shoppers have already cleaned out the shelves. So, you know, and I've seen shoppers going crazy and like they when they shop in Kohl's they're like they have two whole carts with them in the checkout counter and 
the problem with um, shopping at an early time, um, Kohl's and Woolies actually close their um, checkout counters, the self-checkout counters. So you have to go through the cashier to pay for your goods and you have to wait a long time in your in the queue because early morning shoppers have already bought tons of stuff and they, they're like paying. So they're making making the queues very um, very long because of that. I wish that the that the grocery store stores would actually open up check out self self check out counters instead so that um, people like me who actually buy a few items at a time don't need to queue up so long just to pay for a few items yeah so that's my tip for you guys and yeah so I couldn't get any more stocks of masks although here in Australia people don't really wear masks I have them I have a few a few stocks of masks left um, but I don't have for my son because the ones that I bought were all for adults so I needed to get to, to get um, masks for masks for my son but unfortunately because he has always been out of stock I don't know where to get them so now my solution is just don't go out <laughs> yeah so this weekend I've been stuck at home not going out because I've already been out I've already went to the Grand Prix just this week Although I didn't bring my son, he still went to school. Um, yeah, so it's been scary the past few weeks.
at that. It's so stunning. Hmm? It's so stunning with all the colors. Ugh. I'm glad I'm done with this. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you like this like I did, please give me a thumbs up so I know that I'm doing the right thing. And if you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you promptly. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button if you haven't done so. Before you go, remember to sparkle like no other. See you on my next video. Bye!